Hello, thank you for joining me for this new and exciting tips tutorial on the 5x5 Paraminx. Let's get started. So I just want to show a case at the end where one of the sides will all be solved in the centers. And then you'll have three left. Um, I came across this case. I wanted to show how to do this one just in case if you do happen to get it so that uh, you know it'll be easier for you. So one thing to note too that all these centers are solved too in the middle like that. <clears throat> so you only have three pieces left to rotate you know rotate around like that. So let's get started. So if you do happen to have this case or you come across this case um, what you want to do is find a piece where it'll come up top like this like an example green needs to come here or whatever color you have on whichever side it is you know you want to like an example too like this blue needs to come here you can also rotate it like this so that you know it needs to come up here you just put it directly uh, below it like that and then you do the algorithm move that I'm going to show so whichever way it is, whichever way is more uh, better or convenient for you, you know, you could do it that way. So I'm putting the green right below where it's supposed to go. Like that. Let me adjust my table here. Okay. So we're going to start with this move. We're going to do an up and then across like that. So we'll do up like that. Bring this back down like that. Do this layer across. Bring this back. Bring this one down. Bring this back up. Bring this over. Bring this back. Do the same move again. Up like that. Bring this back down. Bring it over this way, bring it back, bring this down like that, bring this back up, bring it over, bring it back. Then we want to rotate this green piece down here like that. One turn, just turn it one time like that so that, that this green piece on the bottom needs to come right here. And we'll do the same exact move one time. Up like that. Bring this down. This way. Bring it back. Bring this down. Like that. Bring this back up. Bring this over. And bring it back. Like that. So now this lead... The, it put the green piece in as you can see right here it's led to this case now so um and this is exactly what we want because the red red center blue centers in place like that the yellow and green center are where they should be to swap so um the red one needs to come here so we'll do the same exact move two times in a row like i just showed up like that bring it down over like this bring it back bring this down like that bring this up bring this going this way bring this back okay we'll do that move again up like that bring this back down over like that bring this back bring this down Bring this back up, bring this over, bring this back. Looks all messed up right now, but that's okay. And then we're going to turn this space down like I did last time, one time, going that way like that. So the red's on the bottom here, and it needs to come right here. The same, same move we're going to do one time. Up like that, bring it down, over like this. Bring it back, 
bring this down bring this back up bring this over and then bring it back so now all our center is in place we put the red in even though it did look like it was all messed up or not in place it still worked out so we have our red piece in all our centers like all the outer edges are solved all the way around like that so now we're gonna uh, finish it off by doing the algorithm move to switch the center so what you do is uh, like an example green needs to come here blue needs to come here so we'll you put these two like whatever centers need to swap as far as their colors because green needs to come here with the green blue needs to come here with the blue you put it directly under each other like this or whatever color if you want to do red and yellow that's fine too you just put it like this like that top and bottom like that so we'll start with uh you could do it whatever way but i'm going to do the down down so we'll do a down then a down so you do a down bring this back down bring this back we're going to do an up, then up, up, bring it back, up, bring it back, and do it again, same move, down, 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 bring it back, down, bring it back, up, bring it back, up, bring it back, one more time, same thing down bring it back down bring it back up bring it back up and bring it back so our uh, green and blue center switched and they're solved and our red and yellow centers are switched and they're solved so I just want to show that just so you get an idea because you're going to come across just to be honest many different cases <laughs> for the centers and just want to show that one just in case if you do happen to have it and exactly how to solve it and show the different ways to do it like you know we had to do it a couple of different times to to line up the pieces make sure they're in place so yeah Thank you for joining me for this tips tutorial on the Yushin 5x5 Paraminx. Um, if you have any questions or comments, leave them below. I will be happy to answer you. And uh, yeah, this is the Yushin. It's a fantastic 5x5 Paraminx. To me, it's the best. It, it's really, really good and great quality. The puzzle is just really great. It's got the little clicking mechanism, which is really cool. I really, really like that. On the bigger layers, it really doesn't have that clicking, but it's very smooth. <laughs> See on the top, it's got the clicking mechanism. So yeah, fantastic puzzle. Um, so yeah, if you like, I said, if you have any questions or comments, I will definitely, I will definitely get back to you. I, I will definitely reply to you. Um, you never have to worry about that. I always reply. And uh, it's Saturday here in Chicago. I have my McDonald's coffee, McCafe, and I'm loving it. And I have plenty left. <laughs> so, yeah. Um, thank you so much. Thank you so much for watching. I, I really appreciate your time. And uh, thank you for taking the time out to watch this tips tutorial today. And... Um, Happy Saturday, everyone. Have a great day.